struggle number one, aka mistake number one. And mistake number two. No struggle here. Pure mistake. Hi! In this video we will be going from this to this with only peeling stick wallpaper, a level, a squeegee, a utility knife, scissors, measuring tape and a pencil. We made sure to clear out the fridge by removing the handles and the logo, if possible. In our case it was glued, the logo, so it was very easy to remove and it didn't leave any residue. By doing so you will help yourself and you'll have a smooth process overall. Once that is done, we cleaned it thoroughly by adding some vinegar to the water. We made sure to open the doors in order to get all the edges and the gaps as well as the top as there is a lot of grease that can build up there. We went ahead and measured the surface and ensure we have a starting line in order to guide ourselves when applying the first panel of wallpaper. We've applied a good anchor on the line that we have as a guide and once we have it centered, we went ahead and smoothed it out with a squeegee. Once it's uniform, with the help of the squeegee, we lock the panel and overlapping strokes working towards the bottom. For our pattern, we went ahead with the flowers as they are very forgiving when it comes to peel and stick wallpaper. We matched up our reoccurring pattern beforehand just to be on the safe side. We found the pieces that go together perfectly because we want to hide the seam. We've ended up with some overlap at the top, but that's okay. You can just trim it and save it just in case you might need it later on. If you have a repeating pattern, you must determine where the overlap must occur before cutting the wallpaper to the appropriate length. This by far was our biggest struggle as we had a nail that we could not remove but we also didn't want to expose it. So we tried to work our way around it but I guess we pulled, we removed the wallpaper too many times and we pulled at some point too hard which stretched the wallpaper and the crease was inevitable. I mean we can see it, it's there but it doesn't bother us. To match up the second panel we use the existing panel as the guide for keeping our wallpaper leveled. Here we got a bit excited with the trimming, which resulted in, in this gap at the bottom. What we should have done is ensure that the panel was well glued to the door and then take our time. To be honest, it's not visible as the pattern helps with this type of mistakes, but definitely when it comes to cutting, as the utility knife is very sharp, it's taking your time. Here we have a nail from the door handle that we could not remove. So the key to work around this area is to make tiny relief cuts so that the wallpaper can relax around each section. Cut the corners to wrap around the nail and then use the squidgy to level up the wallpaper. Thank you. 
We hope you enjoyed this makeover as much as we did and we will see in the next video.